What's up, guys? Welcome to vlog number three. Here with Zevin Sohave. I'm back, bitches! What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording, man. Alright, so uh, I know it's the third vlog, but I really haven't said much about myself, like my statistics. Six. Uh, I'm six foot four, 240. Boy, if you don't stop this shit right now, you're like four foot three, like shit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm like five eight. Uh, that's about 170 ish this morning. Uh, trying to get down to 155, bro, to 155. I don't even think I explained that, bro. Like, do, the, do you want to explain that? Because I, I thought it was I thought it was like road and like there was like route 155. He didn't even say it was pounds, so I don't know. I thought it was route 155. So <laughs> come on. <bro. laughs> All right, so I started this cut with the ketogenic diet, and intermittent fasting. Uh, I was about like 194 when I started. So the whole road to 155. So I'm trying to get down to 155 pounds. Uh, pretty sure that's about my leanest. Even if it's like more, I'll do it because. Why not? I'm about pussy out. <laughs> uh, so guys, I don't know why I'm vlogging because Matt's driving, so I'm gonna vlog for him. But this is the pre-workout we use. So this is like uh, kind of weird because there's like different scoops and shit. So if you take one scoop, it's like strong, which I'm trying to be. And they got like intense, like I don't know about that, but extreme. That's like the whole scoop. So we usually it. take the whole scoop and we motorboat that shit and uh you'll see in a, in a few seconds how we do that hey hey yeah. bounce with me bounce with me what hey. bounce with me bounce with me I didn't go over the technique of the motorboat last time. Oh, the technique, all right. So, yeah, yeah. Show me that. Get, get a little bit of water right in your mouth. You keep it in your mouth. Just throw it back. Throw some down if you need to. Sometimes you don't even need to, though. You get that, so hey? Nah, he might have to go. He might, nah, he only taking one scoop. He fucked whoa, up. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yo, you look like you got possessed or I'm, some I shit. I might not even eat water. I'm about to do like, do like a cinnamon challenge. Yeah, but... <laughs> First of all, a cinnamon challenge. Yo says cinnamon. Ain't no buns in this. <laughs> hey man, I've been really craving cinnamon lately. Actually, I haven't had it in probably like two or three years. But two, three years? You tripping, tripping? Yes, like, wait, you said hold on. Here's the technique, guys. He said put a little bit of water. <laughs> How much? That's, that's, that's too little. What? <laughs> all right, that's plenty, bro. You, you could do. You could it, do like it, a little bit more water. Wait, do you drink it or like, mm -mm, mm -mm. or just keep it in your mouth? I just, and then I down it. Uh, it's it's got to be it's got to be practiced a couple times. You feel me? See, this man likes extra water in that joint. <laughs> you all look like you shaking hella, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Ohave's first time. See how he puts I it down. It's a lot of water. Well, you said I was drinking a lot of water. <laughs> you better spank, better spank. Oh damn! Wait, did you drink Why the you water first? The, no, he's chewing the fucking pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> he chewing the pre-workout. You supposed to swallow that I think shit? He drank the water first. <laughs> All right, motorboat again. You gotta get it mixed and now swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've got set doing back and buys today. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a T bar rose. I'm gonna kind of show you the more back to be straight. Go like this. That's how you're gonna hurt your back. Alright guys, so we're about to move into the rack moves. It's pretty much the upper movement of the 
deadlift. We're gonna start out here, around the knees, pull up, great exercise for the lower back. Aesthetics and all that. So, what's your hands look like when you work out? See them hands, bro? Dang. Alright, guys, so we're moving on to the vertical row. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna your back straight, pull back and squeeze your back. You don't wanna stay like this. Your back, shoulder contract, pull like this. We're gonna do eight reps like this. And we're gonna switch up. I do uh, knees and bar dumbbell curls. Um, we're gonna do four sets of ten. This is gonna be our heavy lift for biceps. Put on some mass, and then uh, we'll do definition stuff. That's it. Alright guys, so when you're doing an isolateral movement, make sure that you start out with the side that's weakest. For me, my biceps, that's my left side. So I'm gonna do this. I could be able to hit by like 15 on my right, but only like 9 or 10 on my left. So you use that, and then you keep up with that on the other side so that you're keeping it even. And if you're not keeping it even, you want to do more with your weaker side so that you can grow more with your weaker side to make up for it on the other side. That made no sense, but make it as strong as the other side. What the fuck are you talking about, Matt? <laughs> Watch your language! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Get I didn't know kids... <laughs> Alright guys, so we're moving on to a uh, hoist machine dumbbell curl. I like this machine because it brings you back as you go. Uh, we're gonna do... I really like that. <laughs> Um, about to do high reps on this, get a nice stretch off the tank. Hey, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, we just got done with the bi back and bicep workout, and uh, how you guys feel? It was good, it was good. I'm weak, man. Yeah, I still got the pump, bro. It's okay. You know when your muscles tear and like... Nah, you, that's called injuries, bro. <laughs> you got injuries, nah, bro. I need that deep tissue massage, bro. With a happy not ending. For me, not for me. I ain't trying to pay one. With a happy bro. ending. Yo, you got some LT bucks, bro? Happy ending? <laughs> what are you speaking on, bro? My bad. From the gym, all you see is chicken, cupcakes, apples, and mac and cheese. And more cupcakes, and even more cupcakes in there, and cookies, and bacon. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tripping, bro? <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to Zeb and Sohabe. Those are the bros right there, literally. <laughs> um, they're awesome. They help me with the videos, with 
vlogging. Oh, Shazeb's edits are crazy. Please go check him out. Instagram's down low. Um, down low. Instagram is in the link. Instagram link is down below. Dang, yeah. <laughs> Instagram link is down below. Go check him out. But um, I want to talk about the thumbnail I had, the no carb struggle, and I see that a lot of people that are scared to do keto because they're afraid oh, I'm not gonna get the same pumps in the gym. You know, carbs help me get that pump. I don't think it's true. I get a great pump uh, even without having carbs. Um, your body adapts, guys. Your body gets used to everything you throw at it. That's why you gotta change everything up constantly to see those results. Um, trust me, I miss those cupcakes. I miss my pizza. Um, guys, I work at Wegmans. I haven't told you that. They do pumpkin roll every year. I look at it every single day. Every single day. Like, pumpkin roll? Oh, it's great. By the way, I'm gonna have a uh, cheat meal video coming soon. I was at 171.2, I wanna say, today. And once I hit 170, I told myself I'm gonna give myself a little cheat meal. I'm gonna show that guy to you. I'm gonna show that guy to you. I'm gonna show that to you guys. Thank you for watching vlog number three. I know this is coming out on a Wednesday, not a Sunday. Uh, initially, I wanted to do Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, so I'm gonna see how this works out, guys. Um, thank you so much for all the support, guys. Everything that you've been telling me, it's awesome. Like. Just the fact that one person watched my video is amazing to me, guys. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. Until next time.